Bailey's Moving Storage utilizes a variety of equipment to accomplish moves across the globe, whether it be beyond vast oceans or just down the street. We have the right vehicle to get people where they need to go. Now, customers who schedule moves with Bailey's often wonder what trucks we'll be using to accomplish their move. They ask, do we always use large trucks for our moves or does the size of the truck vary by move type? So we've crafted a guide to our fleet of more than 150 vehicles that we use to accomplish a vast array of different moves. Now let's start with pack vans. As the smallest trucks that we utilize, pack vans are typically used during the pre-move process. They transport smaller items like boxes that are going to be packed. But before the actual move date, we'll send out the team of packers to pack all the customer's belongings. And the pack van will be filled with different sizes of boxes and the packing material, like tape or shrink wrap or packing paper and a couple of our excellent packers. Now flatbed trucks. Almost every day we receive shipments from overseas and many of them are shipped into smaller wooden crates called lift vans. Once they arrive at our warehouse, they're stored until the scheduled shipment delivery. Now after lift vans are ready for transport, they're loaded directly onto a flatbed truck and then delivered to the customer. However, we also use flatbed trucks for other things like loading shipments that will eventually be shipped to another country or to load out storage. We use our storage vaults and when they come out to you on your home, they'll be loaded on a flatbed truck. Now the next size up is our 26 foot box truck. Now, although our box trucks are mainly used for commercial and industrial moves, they're easier to navigate through smaller areas where it's too tight for our larger truck. So they're a popular choice for offices with tight parking lots. But box trucks are also typically equipped with lift gates to help with loading heavier objects. And these might include the variety of things like machinery, safes, heavy office furniture, but we also use box trucks for smaller household moves that might not require as much space as a large household would. Apartments, small homes, and maybe specialty halls are typically accomplished using this smaller type of truck. Now, a mover's box truck is similar in shape, but larger than a regular box truck. It has cargo doors on sides and the back of trucks for more efficient loading. And these doors make it possible for movers to put up a ramp on the side of the truck, connecting to the driveway to the interior of the truck. So the mover's box truck is unique in that it has typically what they'd call an attic. And that functions as additional storage space and is located above the cab. Now, a mover's box truck will usually be used with local moves because it has more capacity than a standard box truck. But in total, a mover's box truck can hold up about 10,000 pounds of household goods, give or take, and depending on how heavy they are. So the largest trucks that we use for household moves are tractor trailers. Most of our long distance moves are accomplished with this truck because of the expansive storage capacity. Now fully loaded tractor trailers can haul up to 80,000 pounds. Now, your household goods might not have that much weight in it, but they're used for a variety of moves like local, interstate or interstate. And we choose these tractor trailers for transporting household goods as opposed to freight trucks because they have a better way of protecting your valuables. For example, all of our trailers are equipped with air ride suspension. That's not common for freight. That allows for a much smoother ride, and we'd like to make sure household goods are as protected as much as possible during transit. Now, Bailey's Moving and Storage can move you to almost any place in the world. So if you're planning to move somewhere across seas, well, we're gonna be loading your household goods directly into an overseas shipping container. We often lovingly refer to these as sea cans. Step by step, this is how we would accomplish most international moves. Step one, will load your shipment locally, and usually right at your house. And then we will truck it to a train depot using any one of the trucks that we have available. From there, your household goods will be transported by train to a shipping port. Then they're loaded onto a boat and shipped to the destination country, which they are then unloaded and wait to clear customs. After clearing customs, your shipment will then get delivered to your new home. If you're in a hurry for certain items and would like to expedite a certain delivery, we can ship your goods by plane to the new country. Now, keep in mind, it's pretty expensive to ship by air. So we recommend you ship most things that you need by sea and the few specific items that you have to have quickly by air if you need it. Now, we always like to say that every move is different and the variety of equipment that we use really does reflect that. No matter the circumstance, we've got something that's just right for your move.